Hello everybody, welcome back to the survival series. Um, and yeah, I, f I forgot my intro momentarily, but that's okay, isn't it? Bit of a change of setting for the start of the episode because, you know, I, I don't generally uh, start my videos up here, but a bit of a change may be nice, right? So a decent way up here would be ideal, I guess. We could do that. Because today we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be mining a lot of sand for a couple of reasons. One, we we need sand f for a project that I'm doing, which I'll be live streaming. Um, I, 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 by the time I upload this, I may have already live streamed, or I might be doing it this weekend. But I'll probably be live streaming anyway, unless I'm not free. I don't know, but talking about the future is interesting. And you know what else is interesting? Uh... I well, I found a duplication glitch accidentally uh, when I was putting the things into the uh, this. So I originally only had six, uh, and then as I was putting them in the chest, Minecraft crashed. So then when I went back on, there were six in the chest, and then there was another six in my inventory. So I had twelve, but I've used up a bunch of them already. <laughs> Uh, so, I guess what we can do is grab a few, because I need, I, I'm going to save, yeah, let's, gra let's grab three, and yeah, we can jump over to there now, I guess, which will be awesome. Oh, we're also not just gathering sand for the project, we also need sand for, um, for our cartographer. Because when we smelt glass, and you know what that makes, don't you? It makes... No, when we smelt sand, it makes glass. And when we craft six bits of glass, we get a glass pane. And 11 glass panes is what uh, Mr. Cartographer Villager is trading for his highest amount of levelling up. So we should be able to get him to master just by trading him a bunch of... Uh, Uh, glass panes. So I've I've got a whole bunch of really exciting projects lined up, and there, there's two major ones that I'm you know thinking about at the moment, and that's that one, and then another one which I'll be possibly starting around like episode 55. I'm not going to be starting it yet, but it, it's enormous. Oh, stupid, damn it. Yeah, it's an enormous project, which it'll be quite a rather large undertaking. And yeah, um, I just want to talk about life and things for a little bit because I'm going away this weekend, which means I won't be able to upload or stream. But I'm going to try and stream every Sunday, which is a thing. Stream Sunday is a catchy name, I like it. And I haven't streamed in about a month, a month and a half, honestly. Yeah, my last live stream was the Treasure Wars one, and I think, um, yeah. The problem with that one was that my internet went kaboosh. It does that sometimes, and it also often happens in like the worst times. So <laughs> when I'm like when I'm streaming, I just hope it never happens again because people were slightly confused by the whole aspect of the fact that it just sort of stopped in the middle of uh, streaming. Another thing I need to get better at is um, is talking and comment commentary like doing commentating because it would also like improve my talking skills I say like too much but maybe that's just because of the like area where I'm from so I'm going to try and avoid saying like for the rest of this episode because that's a bad thing I also don't often make sense it's uh, it's like and that's allowed by the way because I'm, I'm saying what something is similar to It's like I say, um, I, I think of something in my mind to say, and then I'm not able to express it with words, so just in my mind I, I say like, I, st I, got, I, got, uh, I can't do it, I'll just, have to, I'll just have to make it a gradual thing, you know, 
not saying like. But eventually, I will stop saying like, and I will also stop saying things like, oh, that's a thing. Because nobody knows what you're talking about if you say that. And I often think of something that I can't express in words. And then I am, and instead of expressing it or trying to think of a way to express it, because I feel pressured to commentate, I say it's a thing. So I, I think that might be a, a thing. Haha, <laughs> I got you. No. Um, see, now I'm trying to think of what to say. Because words sometimes come out and I feel. <clears throat> once I've got myself a topic to think of and talk about, I will do that. I will think about it and talk about it. Uh, and then it comes out naturally then. But if I'm unable to find a topic to talk about, then I, I can't really comfortably commentate. It's interesting. And I hope you find it interesting too. And if you didn't, then you probably just clicked off this video, didn't you? Don't do that, please. So we have one left, one um, one shovel left, and it's got efficiency on it. This has I'm breaking, and that's why it's not breaking. Wow. I'm gonna try and make the survival series episodes a bit longer. That that's yeah. It'll be a nightmare to edit, or I could just, like, I could try and leave it. But it is, it is making me very uncomfortable trying not to say like. Because I don't know how, but somehow I did end up saying like too much in a sentence. I never used to. So it could be I was, I was surrounded by people who were, um very they were very influenced by the people around them so someone came from an area where they started saying like in sentences a lot like possibly I don't know a place and then that caught on to someone else and then that caught on to someone else and that caught on to me perhaps that's just a theory I mean it could Theories are often not true. There's a theory going around that... Actually, no, I can't share that. That's too personal. Now, we do need a lot of sand, so I'm not worried about the amount of sand we've got. We will need more sand than this. We will, like, sand and gravel, you can find plenty of it. You just need to know where to look. Uh, it's, just, it's just, this project is, like, the, the, um, the Ocean Monument one is so big it's not what you think it is I originally thought it was just gonna be doing the walls and then we could maybe mop it up with a sponge uh, the water on the inside but then I realized oh we only have two sponges because we've only had like one ocean monument and it didn't have a room in it for like full of sponges so we decided that we're going to just fill the entire thing up with gravel and sand. So we'll probably do a mining sand for X number of minutes live stream. A bit like IBX Toycat does with his, I don't know, stone ones. IBX Toycat's great. Something that I can talk about for literally hours though is Doctor Who. Doctor Who is amazing. And I was thinking, well, it's coming up to 10 years, like, uh, what, what, at some point in, I think, April, I will have been watching Doctor Who for 10 years, and that's that's an awful long time, I think. Uh, in my age especially, I decided maybe something nice that we could do to celebrate, well, sort of celebrate. I don't know why we would celebrate 10 years or something. Actually, that was a stupid comment. Please do ignore what I just said. So in like celebration, I thought maybe what I could do is uh, have uh, make a new YouTube channel 
like a secondary channel and I would upload Doctor Who related videos on that because I would love to do like reviews of the episodes and like and 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 series 12 news and stuff not necessarily series 12 but Doctor Who news but I don't know it's, it's just very out of comfort for this channel I'd like to do a lot more Doctor Who stuff but it this channel is a Minecraft channel I this is like I ex I am a Minecraft YouTuber I basically exclu exclusively play Minecraft um, with like the odd Fortnite video every three four months depending on how long the season is and I played Forza once and that was like brought back to me like oh you pl you're on a Minecraft channel you played Forza one time exactly it's one time it'll probably never happen again people are asking for Halo as well which would be pretty cool Halo would be great because I'm I've just gotten stuck into Halo and perhaps Halo is a good idea because copper doesn't seem to have affected my channel that much like at all uh, so I, I have my channel set as not made for kids at the moment and that's definitely how it'll stay so I can play 16s if I if I really want to the other day I, I downloaded pocket mortys which is like a Rick and Morty it's basically Rick and Morty Pokemon which in my eyes is just beautiful so many beautiful things about that sentence have come together to form pocket mortys and it's I went it's not a new game it's relatively a couple of years old I think maybe I'll have to check uh, but yeah it's yeah it's Rick and Morty's great and Pokemon is also great so if you combine the two you get something very nice and I've just started it and I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say anything about it because you know like people don't want spoilers or anything I often going back to the topic about me ah there you go right there's my shovel gone we have if we have over 17 stacks we have a thousand blocks of sand right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 17 18 19 we have over a thousand blocks of sand that we just mined and you can you see you could just do it like that that's how quick it, it is in reality <laughs> problem is this is running out it's running fairly dry hello what have you got for us trash bye oh he's in my boat you're going to have to leave, so. So I guess I think I can build this episode. It's a super smelter. I've already done the smelting achievements and stuff, but I super smelters, super smelters, super smelters are going to be really useful. So a super smelter is the thing I'm going to build. Uh, somewhere, somewhere which is practical. I might build it actually down there on the first layer not the not the second layer I don't know how practical that is actually we'll have to see but we'll have a, it is night god damn it alright I do I want to touch up on like improving the main area in fact there's a lot of stuff I want to do I remember when I used to hold a map in my offhand all the time I want to build a lot more stuff too If if you take a look around there isn't actually that much here it's not very impressive I want to make it a lot more impressive in this part because it's only impressive if you're down on the ground and looking around and everything all of the little the fact that all of the cave systems underneath us connect partly accidentally partly not mostly accidentally uh, do I know if Okay, I don't have enough to go fishing. Not fishing. Uh, Alright, that's quite enough of that. 
most of the stuff where I trade is just kept in here. Actually, not all of it needs to be smelted into glass, so I guess I can put some up here. I mean, the way I see a super smelter is how I'm going to do it. The way you see a super smelter is probably different to how I see a super smelter. I recently had someone tell me that, like, my world was sick, was the word he used. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. People are actually enjoy my videos. Not only people that I don't know, but people that I do know. They do come back every single time to to watch a survival series or, you know, to, you know. And not just because I told them to, and not just because they know me. It's because they do genuinely like the content. So, and I was like, wow, it's really cool that people think that it is awesome. And when it does get sick, at the moment I don't think it is, but when it does eventually, give it a couple of years, people may still be saying that. And that will make me very proud. That will make me so proud and happy. 34 chests, that's alright. Um, except every one uses a hopper. Okay, I made 13 hoppers. We'll see where we can go from there, uh, I guess. Let's begin. Alright, so if we wanted to be down here on this layer, then that's perfectly okay. I don't know how it's going to look. So this is di like direct access to my super smelter, I, I guess, from another room, from like the cave system. We could we could do a lot with this place actually. Thinking about it. Boom, pathway. Super smelter. Okay, uh, let's start by putting chests down. I mean, eventually, Volcano Cache may be able to link this up with our actual house. But where every one of these chests are is where there will be. It's perfect. It be good. And it'd be alright at least. How many? 3, 6, 9, 12. We have just enough hoppers for one on every single chest. Um, okay, so I guess we can have entirely furnaces on this row, then we can have entirely smokers on this row. No. No. Damn it. There you go. And then we can have blast furnaces on this row, and then the final row we can have like a a mix maybe. That's the purpose of this room. It has been repurposed, and I like it. Um, we could we could just remove this entirely, just not have this row at all. So I'm gonna have to fuel those up at some point. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to split, possibly uh, stacks of coal. I don't know what is the best renewable resource. Lava, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, lava. It's gonna have to be. 
All right, so I have nine lava buckets, which I will now go to. Um, I'll now go to the super smelter to smelt these. And uh, there, there, if there, there isn't quick access, well, actually there probably is, but I have to navigate like the tunnels and stuff. I've just realised I've stopped getting hero of the village. I didn't use it very wisely, did I? Oh well, we can always activate another raid whenever we need to like get stuff. All right, so we're gonna pop a bucket of lava in every single one of these now. The smokers, the blast furnaces, and the regular furnaces too. They're all gonna have lava buckets inside them. Okay, last one now, and uh, good, that was highly effective. So now we can get smelting, so I wonder if you can put sand in... No, you can't, alright, it'll be a regular furnace. Thing. So these can do a hundred smelts, and they give you the bucket back, so yeah, good. And you can just refill at any time. Um... Unfortunately, you can't get infinite lava uh, sources, but I do know where I can get lots of lava. In the meantime, whilst we're waiting for those to smelt, I guess we could see if there's any more things left here. There is. Not many, though. And we can take some of the sand, not all of it, obviously. Because uh, we want to keep some of it, a lot of it actually, for the stream. Maybe a couple of stacks uh, that will get us maybe to the end of the row. And then by the time we've done that, we can come back. And voila, there will be two stacks of glass waiting for us. So we can turn it into s some other things. You've probably seen me do some of this in background gameplay. So, hopefully we'll finish this row today. This is... Yeah, we've got to fill in this entire square with sand and gravel, as well as doing the outside, which... Yeah, we... Yeah, we're just going to have a lot of people working on it. Getting sand is not an issue, as you saw earlier. But, um... Placing it might be. We'll just see that when we get to that. This is Volcanic Ash's lead anyway. I don't know really what I'm, go what I'm doing. There you go, that's exactly half of the walls done. There's obviously so much more to go after this. The worst part is when you go all the way to here and then you sort of fall off the edge. Because that did happen to me one time. Wow. That is so wholesome. See what I mean by it's very easy to activate another raid. We can just get these guys. I don't particularly want to activate a raid right now, but we could. We could. It's not exactly a... We could just do it in a video sometime because it was it was relatively easy. There was like the only problem we had was finding them when they spawned underground because of the immense cave systems that were underneath our house. So we should probably relocate and do it in a different village, like the one that's over there or the one that's further back after that. Let's go back and see if our glass is done. Okay, they're still going. Wow, they've barely done any. <laughs> but at least we have some. We have 15 in here and 15 in here. Which is just what I'd expect. So we've got 30 pieces. Let's see what we can do with this. In between, I'll obviously trade. 
But I just want to get him to master, or at least the next level. Because that is when we can do some more fun stuff, like achievements and stuff. Alright, so I have, uh, I've been, um, been a trader, and we got ourselves to level 3. It's not a treasure map, it's just a locator map. We can see to the expert, which is good. We can see the red banners and stuff like that. So I think it's a master where it'll give you um, the, the the special map. So I'll let him restock um, in between episodes and stuff. Where we can uh, trade some more glass panes with him. Uh, another important thing, not that I'm going to do this episode, but what I'm doing over the course of this whole time is Master Trader. Trade for 1,000 emeralds. And it's not, like, my ma my main source for, like, for for trading. Oh, there's a catty. That's my kind of thing. But we have one-to-one -one puffer fish trades with this guy, so it's alright. And that is my main source of emeralds, but obviously it counts with other ones too. And that is the best part. I hope you enjoyed today's survival series episode. If you did, smash the like button and press the big red subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Because I would, that would make me love you forever. No homo. Um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of my survival series. Goodbye.